One day, as I was sitting looking out the window, there came Anna crying into my office. She said, Dear Sir, I got only 99 out of 100. For question 2, I got the answer as 2 but the correct answer was 1. Can you help please? I felt pity for the child and I gave her some cake. Because cake helps you think deep. I told her, Anna, while you eat this cake, let me give you a second chance. I will prove on the board that 2 is equal to 1. If you can find what's wrong with the proof, I'll give you a second chance and you will get 100 out of 100. Her eyes started beaming at the new opportunity that lay in front of her. She said, all right, let's go for it. I took my chalk, went to the board and started writing. I told her, let P be equal to Q. Now, let's multiply both the sides of the equation with P. So, we get P square is equal to PQ. Alright, now let's subtract Q square from both the sides of the equation. So, I get P square minus Q square is equal to PQ minus Q square. Now, Anna, let's factorize the left hand side. Over here, we have P square minus Q square. I can factorize this as P minus Q into P plus Q. Alright, and on the right hand side, I can take out Q and the expression becomes Q into P minus Q. Now, I can see that both on the left hand side and the right hand side, we have P minus Q as a factor. Let's cancel out the common factor both from the left hand side and the right hand side. We get P plus Q is equal to Q. Now, in the beginning, we had assumed that P is equal to Q. So, let's replace P with Q. So, our equation becomes Q plus Q is equal to Q or 2Q is equal to Q. Now, let's cu cut out Q both from the left hand side and the right hand side and we get 2 is equal to 1. Now, Anna, can you tell me what's wrong with this proof? Anna started to think deep. She munched on the cake that gave her a fresh surge of glucose and she thought deep and deep and deep and suddenly her eyes started to shine bright. She had got some thought. Boom! It came into her mind. This part of the equation started to shine forth. She noticed that both on the left hand side and the right hand side the factor P minus Q was cut out. Now, when you cut a factor both from the left hand side and the right hand side of an equation, it's equivalent to dividing both the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation with the factor. Now, P minus Q, she shouted, is equal to 0 because P is equal to Q and you can't divide by 0. Is she right? Let's for a moment pause and think about this. Can you divide by zero? Division is nothing but repeated subtraction. For example, if you are dividing 12 by 4, let's try to do that. So we start with 12 minus 4, that gives us 8. Now let's do 8 minus 4, that gives us 4. And 4 minus 4, that gives us 0. So we had to do the subtraction 3 times to reach 0. That's why 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Alright, let's keep that aside. Let's try division with 0. Say we want to do 12 divided by 0. Alright, following the same path, I do 12 minus 0 and I get 12. Alright, it's not reducing. Let me do it again. I take this 12. I write it over here and I subtract 0 from it. Again, I get 12. Now let me do that one more time. So 12 minus 0 gives me again 12. You can see there must be something wrong. There's no reduction happening. Yes, you're right. Division by 0 is not defined. Now, always remember to eat cake when you are stuck in a maths problem because that's what helped Anna solve the mystery of the proof 2 is equal to 1.
do remember to subscribe to this channel and also hit on the bell icon let me know in the comments what video you would like me to make next and see you in the next video